back. Today, we go on a day trip around various scenic spots in Lachung. Our day started on a bad note, but with not getting permits for Yumtang Valley and Zero Point, as it was closed for tourists due to snow. As you must have guessed, we need permits to visit Yumtang Valley and Zero Point. It can be arranged locally. There are no civilian roads beyond Zero Point, and hence the name. We were traveling in the month of March. Anyways, we decided to drive till the point it is being allowed. On the way, we came across numerous yaks grazing along the road. We could see wild flowers starting to bloom along the road. It is said that in its peak season, that's May June, the valley comes alive with countless flowers that bloom to carpet the valley. observant and aware of their surroundings. They have a highly developed sense of sight and hearing. They are the highest dwelling mammal in the world. I rode one in Songo Lake. We stopped about 10 kilometers from Yumtang Valley and spent some time here in the snow. I made a snowman too. We then rode to Mount Katao, which is 28 kilometers from Lachon. Entering into this area will require the permission from Indian military. Luckily, this was not close today. We couldn't help but stop and admire the beauty of nature along the way. We were allowed 
allowed to go only till the checkpoint gate. But the ride was worth it. Enjoy the view. On the way back to Lachum, we stopped at a Lachum monastery. It was established in 1880. It houses a statue of Guru Padma Sambhava, who is believed to be one of the founding fathers of Tibetan Buddhism. The monastery is a small and colorful structure that has a two-story prayer hall. 
On the porch lie two extra heavy prayer wheels along with two metal dragons that are carved above it. We then left to take a closer look at the Latrang River and Viewpoint. Hope you like this trip of Lachum. I wish Yumtang and Zero Point were not closed. Anyways, hopefully next time I get to visit it. Thanks for watching.